terms of political philosophy, conservative political philosophy argues that the status quo needs to change in a positive direction over time, but it needs to do so slowly and carefully to minimize the disruption to society. No matter how evil society may be, it still needs to change slowly. Whereas liberals or progressives, and, and this is an American tradition, I mean, the American Revolution um, it was one of these giant leaps. Um, liberals or progressives would say, no, you need to, you need to fix the wrongs. So you need to make these changes, even if they're sudden, even if they're dramatic, even if they're rapid, even if they lead to social upheaval. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the price is worth it. So that, I think, is one main difference. The second main difference is that conservatives, at least by modern definitions, I mean, that, those are the classical definitions, right? The, the, those are definitions that, you know, people for 500 years would recognize. The other definition is that conservatives, by and large, are, are the people who are most interested in preserving the power and privilege of, of the upper classes and the wealthy. And, and sometimes that, uh, typically, and actually not just sometimes, typically that also breaks down along racial and class and even regional lines. And, uh, and, and liberals would, uh, or progressives uh, would rather see everybody, you know, a, a, a far more inclusive society. And conservatives tend to want to have an exclusive society. This is, for example, the conservatives in the United Kingdom back um, prior to the American Revolution. Um, well, even actually after the American Revolution, this is through the Victorian era, through the 1800s, um, there were maximum wage laws. It was illegal for employers to pay people more than a certain amount. And the reason why was because they didn't want lower class working people to move into the middle class. They didn't want them to acquire enough wealth that they could then acquire political power. With regard to the Republican and Democratic Party, the, 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 the the Democratic Party has, you know, certainly since the 60s, been the party of more inclusion and more uh, forward progress, uh, uh, you know, gender, race, uh, religion, uh, diversity. And the Republican Party has increasingly, particularly over the last six years, become almost exclusively the party of white supremacy. So, anyhow, that, that, uh, that's my rant on that.